This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, I would like to present a roadmap for learning natural language processing. Okay, so I'll be talking about what you need to learn uh, from a beginner level to an expert level, right? I will also talk about some free uh, video courses for you to learn about natural language processing. I'll be talking about some data sets as well. Okay, so we start with what is NLP and its applications. So that is the first thing which you need to understand, like what is natural language processing and where are its applications. Okay. So once you get an idea of what is natural language processing, then you can move into the classical natural language processing techniques. This mainly consists of pre-processing text. So how do you pre-process text? Okay, how do you do tokenization, which is splitting words? How do you do stemming and lemmatizations? Okay, which is about finding the root words. How do you do stop words removal? How do you do text cleaning? How do you do spell correction? So you try to understand this part about pre-processing of text. Okay, once you have pre-processed text, then you have something called as syntactic parsing, which is about creating uh, parts of speech tagging right you have parsers you have grammar there you have something called as dependency trees so basically every sentence can be parsed into a tree you can uh, look at subject predicate okay so that is the syntactic parsing part and then you have the classical text representation how do you actually represent text for some of the downstream tasks okay so this is where you have your text representation basically coming where you have these bag of words tfidf right n grams so these are different representation of text okay so you need to understand these things first okay then you have the various nlp tasks okay now what could be these nlp tasks it could be maintaining some conversation say for a chatbot right it could be classification of text it could be clustering right grouping text it could be machine translation where you want to translate text from one language to another language it could be named entity recognition identifying named entities in text it could be topic modeling identifying topics question answering right it could be paraphrasing information retrieval information extraction summarization so all these different nlp tasks are there so once you have these text representations you can now start looking at visualization right how do you want to visualize the text data right so this is exploratory data analysis where you have word clouds you have plots right so you start learning about these things okay then you move on to for these tasks how do i make use of classical machine learning algorithms for example for topic modeling how do i make use of lda or nmf right or svd these kind of algorithms right for text classification how do i make use of support vector machines or say logistic regression or naive based classifier or decision trees or random forests or crfs right how can i do uh, clustering using algorithms like k means db scan okay i have tried to make this roadmap as exhaustive as possible but i could still miss some algorithms here and there okay or some topics here and there okay so you can also look at some dimensionality reduction techniques like PCA, UMAP or TSNE. Okay. So here you, you have to have an understanding of these machine learning algorithms may not be at depth, but how do you apply these algorithms to perform some task for certain tasks like classification, clustering, okay, or translation or named entity recognition or information extraction. How do you apply these algorithms to do these tasks? Okay. So this was about the classical NLP techniques where you would first learn by starting with pre-processing text. Then you will go into syntactic parsing. Um, then you get text representation, the classic representation of TFIDF or bag of words or n grams by gram basically. And then you will, uh, you know, basically ex these are the ways to extract these features from these text, right? So once the features are extracted, how do you perform clustering, classification or any of these tasks? okay using your classical machine learning algorithms okay so by now you would have realized that you also need a background a little bit of background of math and statistics which again depends on these algorithms okay so you would want to understand the math behind these algorithms that would be really helpful but at an application level you need to just have knowledge of how do i apply these algorithms okay for these tasks 
okay so this was about the classical nlp right now you can move to modern nlp right so what is modern nlp for the text representation you have something called as word embeddings okay where you have your word to vec or glow or elmo these are word embeddings then for classification and for these various nlp tasks you have convolution neural networks you have recurrent neural networks you have lstm okay long short term memory networks you have by lstm you are uh, you have grus right you have transformers and you have in transformers you have bert robert and the list goes on okay but this is mostly using deep learning right so the modern nlp is mostly used uh, based on deep learning so you should have some idea of deep learning over here to get started with okay so this is uh, these are all the topics which you would want to learn to you know uh, to learn about natural language processing and move from a beginner level to an expert level so at a beginner level you will start understanding what is nlp uh, what is its applications right then you will start to understand the classical nlp techniques okay as you understand this classical nlp techniques and then slowly move on to you know the various nlp tasks you move to an intermediate level right and then you have better understanding of some of these things then you move to an expert level okay now you can also some people may say that yeah it's 2022 now and probably these techniques are outdated okay what i would suggest is that in some cases these techniques are very relevant still and give very good results even in uh, industry use cases okay some of these techniques still give very good results when compared to say the newer deep learning techniques okay depending upon the use cases so it is better that you go through this route but there could be some people who would want to just do pre processing of text and then directly move into you know modern nlp where they would want to look at word embeddings and uh, you know cnn rnn lstm these kind of networks for performing tasks that is also fine okay another thing if you note over here is that i have not put any timelines because it depends on individual capacity to learn these different things so i have learned many of these things over the last 16 years you know depending upon uh, the work needs and depending upon what kind of application i am looking at but if i were to relearn again probably i'll follow this route of first learning the classical nlp techniques then slowly moving on to uh, you know the machine learning algorithms for these uh, tasks then moving on to the modern nlp techniques so that would be my preferred route but it again depends on individuals how they want to actually go through this uh, different route okay and another thing is that i have not mentioned the programming language over here and the libraries i will come to that okay so the best thing over here to uh, is that uh, python is the programming lang preferred programming language over here and if you look at uh, you know python you have various libraries like spacey hugging face transformers okay so i'll be talking about the libraries for nlp so these are some of the popular libraries for nlp uh, you have hugging face transformers which makes use of deep learning techniques you have spacey which makes use of traditional as well as deep learning techniques then you have gensim you have ln nlp so i have used gensim i have used hugging face transformers i have used spacey i have used uh, uh, ln nlp i have used flare at some point of time nltk for all the pre processing i have used text blob for sentiment analysis right so these different uh, libraries are there skykit learn any how is required for your machine learning algorithms and you also have tensorflow and pytorch also coming into these uh, libraries okay so these are the various libraries which are available okay now how about um, you know free content for you to learn about nlp okay so uh, i have created a set of videos for nlp where i have ordered it based on my road map some topics are missing but majority of the topics i have covered over here i talk about what is nlp and applications and then i talk about the basic classical nlp and then i also talk about some uh, recent advances in nlp with respect to transformers and other things okay so you can look at this playlist okay but uh, you know these are uh, some veterans who have put playlists on uh, this is the deep learning playlist from andrew ng um, so you can learn uh, deep learning from here you also have uh, this uh, stanford university nlp playlist uh, from dan uh, jurafsky so even this has all the topics of nlp okay uh, so you can learn from this playlist you can also learn about deep learning or modern nlp from this again from uh, stanford uh, you know this particular set of uh, this playlist this particular course 
okay so these are uh, three good courses which you can take and these are 100 percent free right including my videos uh, so you can look at these to learn about natural language processing and these are also quite well structured in terms of the topics okay further if you want to practice right nlp then you can look at nlp data sets which are available in kaggle you can look at uh, you know uh, papers with code where you have these various nlp uh, databases uh, you have papers which are present over here nlp papers and their code bases and this nlp index is an awesome resource where you have a lot of uh, you know you have the various models available over here you have notebooks available over here you have data sets available over here so you can learn from this so if you ask me that you want to learn about natural language processing in 2022 you can learn natural language processing without spending a single paisa or a rupee or a cent right you have such very good uh, you know free resources from which you can learn always learn okay i hope you find this roadmap video about how to learn natural language processing useful for you all the links which i have shown over here will be put in the description of the video you can check that out if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video happy learning